Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to E-Dogs Reviews. Today I will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy United Leader Class G1 Triple Changer Sandstorm. This figure is for ages 8 and up and it does come in package in robot mode as you can see on the right. So let's do away with the box first. On the top of the box we have the helicopter mode. We'll go into much details about that once we get to it. And on the bottom, we have the vehicle mode on the bottom. And as you can see, it says three in one right there in this corner right here. On this side of the box, we have all these various characters for the year anniversary down there. It says Transformers. On the top of the box, it says G1 Triple Changer. Sandstorm, we have the robot mode over here. We have the helicopter mode there. We have the... Uh, Vehicle mode down there, and as you can see, it takes 32 steps to get to the helicopter, and it takes 19 steps to get to the vehicle mode. On this side of the box, on the top, we have an up and close picture of Sandstorm's face right there, and then on the bottom of the box, uh, bottom of the box, we have him shooting uh, his weapon with his left hand. On the top of the box, we have Transformers Legacy United there. And on the bottom of the box is just Hasbro's uh, licensing and manufacturing and all that other good stuff. So what you get in the box is these lovely instructions, which will come into play because I have issues about that. Um, there's also another issue with the figure I've seen going around, and there seems to be no apparent fix for it, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. Now... Accessories. You get uh, you get the small gun. Let's see if we can get in and focus. See, it didn't, it's not in focus. My word. There you go. All right. So you get this little gray gun in there. Nothing crazy about it. Please excuse the noise that's outside. And you plug it into his hand. Like I said, you plug it into his hand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Another button you get is this. This is called the uh, it's called the sand blaster. Right? Not exactly sure what it does, but that's what they call it. And you can stick it in the other hand. Let's see. Right. A couple of more things. Just a few more things. You're going to get this gray panel. And it's meant for this piece right here. Which uh, forms a cage. Uh, so you just plug it into these four holes here. Make sure that's all together. That one's not in properly. And you got your cage, right? And then on top of that, you have this winch right here, which will come into play a little later on. Now we have a lot of uh, 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 comparisons and accessories that we're going to be using for this figure. So let's get into it. So this is what the figure looks like up close. Alright, that's the front of the figure. And there is the side. There is the back. I hope somebody makes like a panel to kind of cover up this this back piece. But if you're going to be facing it forward, you wouldn't have to worry about it. Uh, we have this side. And then we have his face. Now, to my understanding, there is supposed to be a second face that's, you know, in the show. We didn't get that. So maybe a third party would jump in 
and make a different face for him. But I'm fine what I have right here. You can see his eyes right there. All right. Take these guns out. And I'm going to show you what you can do with the cage. Oh yes, we will, we'll, we'll talk about that, that, that chest thing in a moment. All right, so let's say you have your cage all right, you take the winch, you plop, you pop it into this piece right here. It's not in focus. And you pop it in like that. You give it a little, give it a little bit of string. And you take either hand, doesn't make the difference. And you want to underhand this piece. Right? So now he has a cage, and if you need to wind it up, you can do so like that, and you have his cage. Now, and I'm not exactly sure what the cage is for. Uh, last time we saw a cage, uh, it was for Ravage in the previous set. So it could be for anything or anybody. It has to be for a cassette, to you honestly, but smaller to fit in here. Now we're going to get into articulation. Now, I'm going to not hold the chest because that is a thing we need to talk about. Uh, so we're going to go upwards like that until it bumps the shoulder right here. But if we come down, and moves the chest along with it. And we're just gonna go all the way around, play it like it's not even a thing, and it goes all the way around there. Um, same thing on the opposite side. Let's try it one more time. We're gonna bring the arm all the way up. Of course, it's gonna stay in place. And we're gonna bring it all the way down. Now, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but this arm right here is tighter than that arm. And that is probably one of the reasons why this pops off. The other reason is this post inside is not long enough to, to grab a hold of this port. Separately, it may not be uh, as, wide as, <laughs> as wide enough to fit snugly into this great piece. That is another reason why it pops off. Now, there are some other things I would like to point out. Let me see if I can find it. All right, so this piece right here, it's supposed to catch on to something that's here, right? So I'm gonna use my other finger here, point it out. So there's this little rectangular thing right there. It's supposed to catch on to something back there, but it's not doing it. Uh, I think they should have put like a hook system where you, once you get it past a piece of plastic, it it expands and it hooks onto the plastic, keeping it in place. So this is gonna move a lot, right? But once you got it in a certain pose, you know, you just leave it alone, you pop the, the, the chest back into place and you're pretty much good after that. So the legs can go out, all the way out there, bring down the knee, right? You got that much, you bring this arm up, bring the leg out like so, bring the leg back, bring this down. There's a swivel, thigh swivel here, and there is for articulation here, right? If you need it, Going backwards on the leg, you're only going to get that far with that. And then maybe you bring up the knee, you get that far. Does the feet move? Now, the feet do move backwards, but they don't move forwards. Right, bring that down. Let's bring that down. Now, the waist can move to the left just a little bit. And then on the right, just a little bit. The head is very snug. I want to say it's on a bowl joint. 
because I can't really see back there because of this panel is in the way. This backpack is in the way, so I really can't see it. So it, it's on a ball joint because you wouldn't be able to go up and down only side to side if it was a flat head type of thing. So you can move the head that way if you need to or that way. You don't have much room because you got these little things that's popping out. And that is about it for that. Now transformation is very easy for the vehicle mode. It's only 19 steps. And we're going to do uh, vehicle uh, comparisons as we go through all of the, the modes. And then once we get into the robot mode, we got a few robots to, uh, to go with it. Excuse me while I'll focus on my camera. Bye. Bye. Thank you. So the first thing we want to do is uh, we're going to bring up the arms first and we need to find this door like always. And this is a little tab. You use this tab as a, a leverage and you get under here and you want to open up this door right there like that. Take the hand, you want to bring it close like that. And then you take this piece and you just close it. Close up the forearm. Next, you want to bring this up like that. Right, and you want to shove it backwards until you enclose that whole piece. So, right, I'm gonna show it off a little better on the other side. We're gonna bring the arm up, find this peg to get, over, get it some leverage, get in here, open up this door. Uh, you wanna flip this hand inside and then you wanna close up the forearm. You want to bend at the elbow you want to you need to uh bring this in like that just like that right we're not ready for this and this is going to be a thing okay so now that we're here we're going to bring out the shoulder excuse me the chest excuse me that is not the shoulder we're gonna bring out the chest and we wanna bring this out like that. And you want to flip the head back like that. Get it all the way back. Now, what you do next is you take this great piece here, you wanna flip it back like this and you plug it into place. Now they don't plug in, it just kinda of like stands on top of these little pegs there. And then you wanna bring this up. Right. right, keep that there. Everything should be in place. All right, from here, we can peg the legs together or we could do this first. Uh, we're gonna take the foot and we wanna bring that up. Make sure this is locked into place. Do the same thing on the other side, I take the foot. Make sure that's locked into place. You peg the two legs together so there's a male there and, it, and, and right underneath that is a female port. And the same thing on the opposite side, you just want to marry those two together. The same thing goes with the feet, if in case you dismissed it. Uh, it has a male and female on that side. Now, turn it to the side. You want to take the heel spurs. You want to bring them around like that. Next, you want to take this whole front section. You want to bring it down like so. These side panels right here. You want to bring those down, and you want to bring that down. The chest. This time, I got it right. Take the chest, you bring that down, and there's gonna be two pegs. There's a peg there, peg there, and there's these two slots right there in his upper leg. 
you see and you want to peg those in there making sure all of this is good make sure all of this is good and this sh should fall into place all right so you have that right you take the inner shoulder you want to bring it down like that and what's going to happen is this is going to fall into place into this square i mean this rectangle piece right there you can't see it because there's no light but there's a there's a square piece right there right so you just want to bring this down like that and you want to just squeeze this in here So something has come undone here. Let me try. There we go. All right, so this wants to, okay, there we go. Now we got pegged in. Let's try that much better on the opposite side. We just want to undo this right here. And you want to sneak it past this this panel right here. And then it should just pop in. Just like that. Easy peasy. Right, so now you take your cage, right? We're not done yet. We take your cage and you want to unassemble this. And you want to take this winch. You take the winch. And you want to pop it into this port right here. And what I like to do is like I like to raise this part just a little bit so I can plug this piece in here. See, I don't have the leverage. Just bring that up. Thank you. And now we pop that back down. Take this cage. There's a little slot there. There's a little slot there. And you just plug this in. Like so. You take your sandblaster weapon. Pop it into the top. You take your handheld weapon. And you want to put it on, uh, you can put this on either either side, it doesn't really make a difference. We're going to put it on the driver's side. Come here. So there's a part right there where I'm trying to do. Right. Next, you could take this piece right here and do this. And you undo that. And there's supposed to be spoilers. Right. You take this gray piece. And you want to take this gray piece. And you want to flip it this way. And there's a slot on either side. One right there and one right there. So I'm going to I'm gonna undo this real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. There's one right there. Right? It's best to do it this way. And you just pop these two together. That's in, that's in. Give it a squeeze. That's in. All right. So this piece right here, normally it will be down like back this way. You just want to flip this forward. And there. You have it. Let me get my stage on. Let me drop the 
brighten this down a little bit. And then you have your open wheel sand rail doom buggy. That's what exactly what it is. Right? So that's what it looks like from the side. Just look, look what it looks like from the front. Now you have to, you know, hollow transformers is it's never a wheel on the ground. Uh, here it is from the front. Here it is from that side. And here it is on from the back. Now, if you want to go with the original G1 stuff, you want to raise this piece up. Right? Because that one's down on the G1. But I'm just giving you an option. It rolls very well. Not only on top of this box, but across my table. Mm. Now, according to the information I found, some of these uh, sand rail doom buggies, they can go from either 20 to 25. If we're talking about something a little more recent, if we're talking about maybe 50 to 100 miles an hour. They're not street legal unless they meet some kind of criteria, if you will. But they're mostly meant for like sand racing and going up sand hills and stuff and all that jazz. So we're gonna do some comparisons. All right, we're gonna bring that down. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna start small. But the vehicles, um, let's talk with, uh, let's start with Jazz. So you can get a scale of that. Let's move that closer. That's from that side. Got it from that angle. Now this side. Now some people will tell you that these are rubber. I think they're rubber. Uh, yeah. So I'm going with that. All right. So let's uh, let's get somebody else real quick. Here is. Trailbreaker. Get from that angle. And from here, we're going to swap out. Let's bring in iron height. That's the size. Uh, Paris in there. At that angle right there. Right. Now we're gonna go and get some masterpiece. Right. Here's Senator Crosscut. Mm -hmm. Here is Trail breaker. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's go. Eat. Let's get somebody else. I'm gonna move this forward. Here's Hot Rodimus. I don't think they met. Just to have fun, let's get one more. 
This is the AMC Optimus. Now that kind of fits. I'm not gonna lie. Right. Right. Just got to tweak that well down, right? But that's how these two fit together. And let's get this guy out. Let's bring it in. Blitzwing, fellow triple changer. And uh, last, but not least, at the train, I, cho I chose the train over the shuttle, but that's how that looks together. Now, I didn't go for the shuttle because the mass shifting is incredible, incredible. And that is about it for that. Did I leave anybody out? No, I did not leave anybody out. Okay, so now it takes 32 steps to uh, get from here. And we need to unassemble this. We need to get this cage. Thank you. We need to undo the winch. Unplug this from the back. All right, we need to get this great piece just by undoing this and undoing that. We're gonna put that to the side now. Take 32 steps and we're going to do that right now. So first thing we want to do is take care of the spoiler. We don't want to raise that up. Raise that up. Plug these two together. Okay. We want to unplug the arms from the side. So we want to bring the arms up. We need to unplug it from the side bring those up same thing opposite side unplug bring that up similar to going back to the robot mode that's pretty much what we're doing all right now this piece right here we need to grab this out right you want to go back into the robot mode, so to speak. Bring that head out. Bring that down. Back into that slot. And you need to bring, you need to push down to where, right there. Alright, so... Let's, let's turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so we're going to take this panel right here. We're going to flip that up. We're going to take this panel, flip it up. We're going to bring the arms up because you need to see what I'm doing next. We're going to bring this piece up. This piece right here folds reverse. So right now that's the vehicle mode. It's still the vehicle mode right now. You want to bring this up like that. Bring this up like that. Now this is the easiest way I've been able to do it. I take the wheel, unplug it, bring it out, bring it over, take the wheel, bring it down, like so, and you just push it down. This one, bring it up. We can swing this way, but 
it's gonna stop you. It needs to swing the opposite way. So, so you have to swing this way, right? You wanna close, right? And if you need to adjust, do that. And that's how the wheel sits, just like that. You take the windshield right here to flip it inside, like that. Now, this is probably the toughest thing to get out of that chest, right? And you want to bring it down like this. Right. Make sure all of this is supposed to be. Right. Make sure all of this is all together. Like that. Like this. Right. I forgot to take that gun off his arm. Let's do that right now. You take this right here. This peg goes into that hole. And that's good to go. You want to unplug the backpack. Take that out. Take that out. You want to raise this piece because this is this is going to come off. Right? Raise that up. While you're here, you need to un. You need to get this piece right here. This is piece right here. Right? You want to undo this right here. Take this piece right here, bring that out like that. And you want to turn at the shoulder. You want to turn that all the way around like that. Same thing on the opposite side. You want to turn all the way around. Like that. So it should look like this. Okay. Now there's a double joint here, right? So you're going to have to use that to get it to flipped over right so you wanna right you need to move this piece right here so it will flip over make sure the head is facing forward Make sure this piece is lined up right. Same thing on opposite side. You wanna flip this over. You wanna use this piece right here to maneuver around. Right, and you wanna just sandwich these two things together. So the front is done. Uh, this piece, you want to bring this back, and you definitely want to get these blades out of the way. Turn this around, face it backwards like this, because they're gonna get in the way. And you want to unplug this from this part right here, because they plug into these ports. There's a port there, and there's a port there. And right, so you want to. You want to make this whole thing move over there. And you need to be mindful of the blades. Like that. And you want to peg the feet in. Like so. Like that. You take the blades, you move them over here. Now, before I move any further, I want to note something. This piece right here does pop out. It's not like screwed in or anything. It's it's like uh, it's a clips. It's like a clip system type of thing. And if you do the transformation incorrectly, this will pop off, and sometimes this will pop off. So be careful of that. Now from here, you can take this piece, just close it. Take these these uh, these side panels, just close those. You take the blades. Okay, just be, don't use too much oomph trying to get these blades out. All right, so we're going to get the gun. 
stick it back here. And we're going to get his other gun, his sandblaster weapon. We're going to pop it there. Now, before I finish, we need to put something together, which is the cage. Take your winch, and you have that ready. So what we have here is his helicopter mode, and it's a helicopter used in the military. They call it the Sea King helicopter, and it goes about 166 miles an hour while in flight. It was first built in March 11th, 1959, and they retired it in September 29th of 2018. Um, they replaced it with a new helicopter, which is the CH-60F-60F -60F Seahawk. So you have to look that up. All right? That's what it is. Now, to give you a little bit more, it's a Sokoski SH-3 Sea King. The Sokoski HCH, excuse me, Dash 3 Sea King is an American twin engine anti submarine warfare helicopter. That's exactly what it is. And the blades do spin on this piece. Oh, even a, re even a real stabilizer spins as well. And sometimes I think I've seen pictures where one of these is down. So you have that. You can have that down too, instead of having both of those up. Right? So this is what it looks like from the side. This is what it looks like from the back. Here's what it looks like from the other side. Z front. Z top. Right? And the bottom. If it wasn't for his head being there, you wouldn't be able to know <laughs> what's going on. Now the only comparison I have to this piece is Whirl. Whirl is from the Generation series. Oh my goodness. Uh, deluxe class, I believe. Is he deluxe? No, he voice class. He just voice class. And this is a leader class, ladies and gents. So you have these two going together. You got it from the rear. Have it from this angle and from the top view. Let's do top view. This is the top view. And let's get one from the front and the front right here. Okay. Now, as for this cage, you could do a bunch of stuff with this cage because there is a port right here. There's a port here. And you could take this piece right here, you pop it in there. And you can have them flying with the cage in tow, like that. You could do that. You put it on either side, doesn't matter. Uh, you, you could put it under here. Let's see if we can put it under here. Let's see if we can do that. May I have this? Thank you. You're gonna see if we can do this. Yes, we can. We can put it under there if you wanted to. That thing's, you know, wherever you want. I'm trying to get this. It's a little tough getting getting this piece out now where would this come to it once we get back to the real vehicle mode I'll, I'll, I'll pop that out right so we're gonna take the guns off and we're gonna go into the Z robot mode oh too early for that
Oh, now we got it. All right, so we're going to go back here. We're going to focus on the t uh, the rear the rear stabilizer here. Pop that up. All right. You're going to close these blades up. Like that. We're going to start with the rear first. We need to raise this. Oh, actually, we're going to keep this down. Um, we're going to raise these doors. That's what we're going to do. And we need to unplug the back section like this. Make sure the blades are like this so you can get it past all the obstructions like that sort of thing. Bring this over. Like that. And it's going to somewhat peg into place on the side like that. Take this piece. You can leave it there or you can bring it down. It's your choice. I'm going to leave it up. Take the blades. They go into this cavity right here right there is that up nope we still got more space there we go like that we're gonna hold it like this and we're gonna start with the arms we're gonna detach the arms from the side like that we're going to focus on this panel right here. Bring the panel away like that. Bring this panel like that. Just to show you how I got it rigged up. Now, we're going to flip this all the way around like that. And there is a slot. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so there's a slot right there. Right there. I you just want to plug the, the wheels into that slot. Same thing, other side, just bring this down. You want to circle around, turn, and there's a slot right there. Pop that in. You want to wiggle. Sometimes you get a click, sometimes you don't. We're going to focus on the feet now. We're going to bring this up. Like that. We're going to take the lower portion of the feet, which is going to become his heel spur. You're going to just bring this all the way back. Get in here, bring this all the way back. Like that. We can separate here. Bring this down. We're not ready for this yet. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we want to separate at the top like that. Before we do anything, we need to turn this around the other way like that. Same thing on the opposite side. Turn this around. Doesn't matter what direction you go in, but it has to be just like this. Right. We're going to flip it around. There's a tab here and there's a tab there. Let me see if I can. And there's a port there and there's a port there. You want to use this piece right here to flip this around. And you plug it into place. Same thing on the other side. You want to use this piece right here. Plug this into place. Take this piece right here, you want to flip it back. You want to flip this piece right here, flip that back. Okay, so that's done. Uh, we want to bring the head out. And we need to bring it out on an angle. Right there. It's supposed to sit right there. Right? That's how you get that. And you bring the chest up. And 
or underneath here, you need to get this piece out. Right? And then you plug this port into that hole like that. Bring on the arms, bring on the arms, bring on the arms. So here, we're going to bend at the elbow and we're going to extend by pushing it back like that. And we're going to look for this door again. Take out the hand by flipping it out. Flip clues. Same thing on the other side. You're going to bend at the elbow. You want to extend it by bringing it down. Like that. Look for this door. Bring this hand out. Close that. And again, it's gonna it's gonna pop out. I knew it's gonna pop out. There we go. Right now, some people have said their figure is a little loose, a little loose in the ankles or the legs, and sometimes he wants to lean backwards. Not on my copy, my word. Please stay there. The legs are stiff. Right. And you know how they say products made very. So you take the gun, pop it in your hand, take a sandblaster. Yeah, you have it. You have Sam Blaster back into his robot bone. And we're going to bring in random Cyclonus. If you watch the show, there is a hand-to-hand -hand combat with these two. And um, Sand, Sandstone wins <laughs> that fight. Mm. Hey, we're gonna bring in this buddy Springer. So you have two different triple changes here. Now, according to my other book, there's 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 six in total. Take it, uh, six uh, triple changes in total. Not exactly sure why he's leaning like that, but um, it's these two guys. Broadside, I believe, is in Titans Return as a Hatmaster, and also Octane is also under the same banner uh, as a Hatmaster. So we're probably going to get another one without the Hatmaster gimmick. But for now, you can use those two as a, a substitute if you need uh, like a whole team in them. So it would be Broadside, Sandstorm, and Springer, and then Noctane will be on the Decepticon side. So you have that going on. I'm not exactly how I got him to look like that. But anyway, um, let's get this out of here. Actually, let's leave him in here. Change my mind. So we have him. Blitzwing. And Asher Chain. We're gonna sneak Asher Chain in here.
And as for the winch and the cage, you can just put it in your storage box or something until you actually need it for the vehicle mode because that's pretty much where it goes. Uh, helicopter mode is, it's an option, but it's something that's there. Uh, anything else? I think that's about it. So there is the review for Transformers Legacy United Leader Class G1 Sandstorm. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to go toy hunting after this. I'm missing gears. And I might as well just get Tiger Hawk if I see him somewhere. And that's about it for that. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.